Rendering can take a long time, but rendering heavy procedural materials can take even longer. The solution to this problem is to bake your materials. No, not that type of baking. But this process allows you to turn your giant string of noodles into a simple PBR material setup. For this example, I'm going to be using my cinder block model that I showed how to create in my previous video. So if that interests you, click the link in the corner. You can follow along to this video using any material and any model. So the first step is to make Make sure that your model is UV unwrapped. So as long as it looks something like this, then you're on the right track. And if it's not unwrapped, you can easily go up here to UV and click Smart UV Project. And in most cases, that'll work perfectly fine for what we're doing. Now in the shading tab, you'll already have your procedural material. What we want to do is we want to turn all of this into image textures. So what I'm going to do first is add in a principled BSDF. And there's no need to connect it yet. But after that, we want to add in a blank image texture. And I'm going to duplicate that twice so that we have three images. Now what we're going to do is add new materials. So click new. I'm going to name this one diffuse because it's going to be our color. Depending on the level of detail of your model is going to determine what the resolution is going to be. In this case, I'm going to do 6,000, but I want to preserve all of the detail that I can. So once that is all done, you can click New Image. And next, I want to do my Roughness Texture. So I'm going to click New once again, type Roughness, and it's already filled out. The resolution's already filled out, so I can click New Image. And then my last is going to be the Bump. Okay, so all of these textures are completely blank and we want to fill them with the diffuse, the roughness, and the bump. And the way we're going to do that is go over to the render tab, scroll down until you find bake, make sure that you have your model selected and the image texture selected that you want to fill. I wanna change the bake type from combined to diffuse since we're doing the diffuse texture. And I'm going to uncheck direct lighting and indirect lighting because if we kept those checked, it would also bake the shadows onto the texture and I don't want that, I just want the color. And there's really nothing else that needs to be changed. So I'm going to go into solid mode just so it can bake a little faster and you can click bake. Okay, so once that's done baking, you'll see the texture pop up over here in the little image viewer. Um, and you can see that it baked all of the color data into an image texture. Now I'm going to move on and bake the roughness map. Change the bake type from diffuse to roughness. There's nothing here that needs to be changed, so you can click bake. So now that the roughness map is done baking, we can move on to the last one, change it from roughness to normal, and you can finally click bake for the last time if you're only doing these three textures. Okay, now that our bump map is done, you can go over here to this little hamburger menu, go to image, and make sure you save all images because otherwise it is so easy to lose images in Blender, so make sure that you save them, please. Now one final step is I'm going to add in a UV map and connect it to all of my textures. And if you do want to have any other textures, it's pretty self-explanatory, just make another image. Change the bake type to whatever you're trying to make. Now I can connect this principled BSDF to the surface. And since you can't bake a displacement texture, I'm going to use the diffuse for my displacement. So I'll add in a displacement vector right here and then plug my diffuse into the height. And now I just need to clearly change the scale. And there we go. Now we have displacement on the uh, material. So like I said, using this method will substantially speed up render time because you're not having to calculate all of those node connections every time that it renders a frame. So anyway, I really hope this helped. Um, check out my Patreon where you can get all of the stuff for the cinder block and this video will also be on there ad free. Follow my Instagram because I post quite a bit more on there. And yeah, thank you for watching.